Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the append child method and how we can append the newly created element to the DOM we have seen it to the parent. And we also seen that always whenever you are trying to use this append child method, it will append only to the at the as the last child to the parent. So we cannot have the control on this one. So because of that reason, so we have seen uh, we have also seen another method that is nothing but insert before method. So let's try to see about this insert before method in practical. We know that insert before method takes two arguments. That is nothing but one is the new the element which you are trying to keep it, and the another one is the reference or the sibling where you want to insert it before. So let's see here. So this is dynamically created paragraph. So now here we are having the h1 right after the h1 and after the script this paragraph is placing so i want to make it to place before the h1 okay before the h1 i want to make it so how can we do so that means what i need to do i need to catch the parent element and i need to know the h1 element and i need to tell that please insert before the h1 element so like this we need to tell so how let's try to see how we can do it so now here we are having paragraph element body and let's try to remove this one. Find the reference element. So here we need to first find the reference element so which you want to place it before. Place before. So that one is nothing but H1 element. So H1 element is equal to document dot query selector of H1. I am taking the H1. I want to place it before the h1 right so now call insert before so insert before method we need to call it so calling this insert before method so what can i do here first we need to in the body i need to insert before insert before insert before element and first one is the new element so which is the new what is the new element new paragraph i want to place the new paragraph so before which element I want to place it before the h1 element h1 element I placed it that's it so let's try to see whether we are able to place the paragraph element before the h1 or not see we are able to place it so if I try to refresh this page and if you see here this is the h1 element we are having and the paragraph element is we are able to place it at the top so when we will be using this one so when we will be using this one is for example let's say that whenever you don't want to place it at the end and uh, you want to place it in the middle you want to control the element means the control the position of the element means we can use this insert before so now you may be having a doubt that so will there is there a method insert after so just like i want to place this paragraph element after the paragraph uh, sorry after the h1 element i want to place it the same paragraph element after the h1 so will this insert after method also available in the javascript dom or not so unfortunately insert after method is not there so in order to place this one so what can you do so when what can you do is so you need to catch the script element and you need to place it before okay let's try to catch the script element and let's try to place it before between the h1 and the paragraph so here i instead of taking this one i will take the script element let's see whether it will work or not Sometimes it will not work. So I will try to show you the hacking thing or something like that in order to implement this insert after. So now I am using this one and here I can do script element, right? Script element. And here also we can place this one as script element. Let's see what will happen. So if you try to see here, this is not placing, right? So we are getting some issue. So the paragraph element is not placed between this one. So before the script element, I want to place it. So what is happening? Let's try to console the script element console.log script element okay so script element let's console it and see so if i try to console it we are able to get one script element and reveal your elements panel so it is giving us the this is the main script so which was injected by the uh, what i can say uh, by the browser or the live server so there these guys has in, inserted this one so whenever i am trying to get this query selector of the script means it is trying to give you that element so this this will not be work functioning well why because so we there is an ambiguity or there is a problem in such a way that when you are trying to get the script script tag so we are getting we are unable to predict which script element we are able to get it so somehow we need to get an uh, we know that so we know that here uh, where is that h1 element yeah 
So I need to place it before the script. So that means that is nothing but I want to place after the h1. Okay. So that is the requirement. So unfortunately, we don't have an insert after method. So we can do some uh, what I can say some hacking or something not hacking. So just some logic wise we can improve it. So let's take we know the h1 element. We are able to find this h1 element. Okay. Let's try to find this h1 element. We got the h1 element. So what I need to do. So here we got the h1 element. So what I need to do, I need to go to the next sibling. So we have a methods for traversing the DOM. So we go to the next sibling and place it, insert it before the next sibling. So we can do it like this, right? So for example, in order to get a next sibling, so what can I do here? So h1 element dot next sibling. So you will get a text node here. So you need to understand. So we know the difference between a next element sibling and also a next sibling. We have already discussed about this one. So text a, so text where we are getting, so from this h1, <clears throat> this from this h1, so h1, the next sibling is text node. So if you go to the next sibling, then you will get a script file. So next sibling, let's try to see next sibling means then you will be able to get a script. Yeah. So like this, you'll be in. So you can use both next sibling or otherwise you can use the next element sibling also. So it will give you the nearest possible element sibling. So next element sibling if you use then also you will be able to get the same script code so now what is my requirement is so now i got the script i want to insert it before so that means automatically it, we are indirectly doing insert it after right so now if i try to go here insert before here i will be using h1 element dot next sibling next element sibling i can use next sibling also not a problem just i want to show you now if you try to see here it is placed afterwards so after the h after the h1 the paragraph element is placed okay so this is how we can use this insert before method as an insert after so just i have shown you the trick that my requirement is i want to place it uh, <clears throat> after the h1 okay so after the h1 if i want to place it means so i need to take the h1 okay so after the h1 means nothing but i need to place it before the script so I, I thought of taking the script and I will be, I, I thought of doing the insert before, but unfortunately the script file, I'm able, not able to find the script tag name because of the so many scripts thing. So I don't want to spoil the code. So for that reason, what I have did here. So first I, ca I captured this H1 element. I'm able to get this H1 element, but we have only one method that is nothing but insert before method. So using this insert before method, we cannot insert it after the H1. So for that reason, what I have did it, so I have traversed to the next element sibling or the next sibling, which gives you a text node. Next element sibling means it will give you the nearest element node. So I got, I got that element node and I used the insert before for this one. So that it is placed exactly after the H1. So like this, we can use this insert before method in either ways. Hope you understood about this insert before method. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.